Kent McRae, a pioneer of television, a piece of Western history. The wonderful thing about the ideals of the great American West is that they can manifest themselves in people outside of a ranch or horseback setting. Such is the case of Kent McRae, whose life has demonstrated his character traits of honesty, integrity, individualism, strength, courage, and success. Ken McRae entered television in the early 1950s as an NBC unit manager for live broadcasts. He coordinated the Colgate Comedy Hour, The Red Skelton Show, and worked with such other greats as Ralph Edwards and Milton Berle. During this time, he was a behind-the-camera leader in transitioning from live TV to videotape. Also during this time, he met and worked with Bob Hope. It was his affiliation with Hope that led to McRae becoming associate producer for the famous comedian's renowned Christmas shows put on for the benefit of U.S. military personnel overseas. For three years, beginning in 1956, McRae traveled to each military base to lay out the shows that brought such joy to homesick soldiers, seamen, airmen, and marines. He organized 21 shows over 14 days, including travel accommodations, ground transportation, and logistics for a troop of 70 people. He was given an honorary rank of a one-star general, and in 1957, he was presented with the Department of Defense Certificate of Esteem for his patriotic service and providing entertainment to members of the armed forces in the Pacific. The honor was signed by Herbert M. Jones, Adjunct General of the Department of the Army. Later that year, Hope asked McRae to be associate producer of the comedy western alias Jesse James, in which Hope starred. By the early 1960s, McRae began what would turn out to be a long-lasting affiliation with TV westerns as either a production manager or a producer, associate producer. The earliest was Outlaws, starring Don Collier and Barton McLean. The rest read like a who's who of classic TV. Bonanza, 295 episodes. The High Chaparral, 97 episodes, one of which was two hours. Little House on the Prairie, 204 episodes. And Father Murphy, 34 episodes. While not a Western, Highway to Heaven, 111 episodes was also a vehicle for perpetuating the qualities of the Old West in script content. A conservative estimate puts the number of nominations and awards for the above shows at somewhere around 116 nominations, with 33 awards won. These range from primetime Emmys to Golden Globes to Bambies, which are the equivalent to an Emmy in Europe, to new artists in eddies, American cinema editors, to Western Heritage Awards, Understanding that TV productions take the effort of a multitude of people, the correlation between Kent McRae's key role in these works and their vast public recognition is neither a fluke nor coincidence. Rather, it is a reflection of his character, which he brings to whatever he does. He has been recognized by the Entertainment Industries Council, Good Housekeeping, and the Wild West Film Festival for his lasting contributions to Western films. His colleague, David Dortort, in an open letter to McRae dated January 13, 1995, and published in Variety Daily, recognizes him for leading the transition from black and white TV broadcasting to color, among other outstanding achievements. Like-minded people of great talent and individualism can make history, and that is what Kent McRae and Michael Landon have done through their affiliation. McRae and the former Little Joe Cartwright are responsible for 84 nominations and 23 awards won, of those listed above, not counting Bonanza. Additionally, their personal friendship led McRae and his wife Susan, honoring the now deceased Landon by producing the movie Michael Landon, Memories with Laughter and Love in 1991. Proceeds from this film have been donated to the Michael Landon Children's Cancer Research Fund at the University of Arizona Medical Center in Tucson. McRae has also shown his loyalty and love for his alma mater, the University of Hartford. McRae was the first theater major at that institute, graduating in 1951. Since then, he and his wife Susan have served as alumni and honorary regents. They have also generated and donated time and monies toward the Kent McRae Television Studio, as well as the Kent McRae Theater and the Harry Soupman Foyer 
in honor of Susan McRae's Oscar-winning composer father, Harry Sukman. Ken McRae is a pioneer who made television history in the technical arena as well as in the content of the shows with which he has been affiliated. He is a man who operates with integrity, with pride, with loyalty and professionalism, and with humility. He has shared his talent in person and in kind, and has left a legacy that shouts very loudly that if he had chosen to don boots and hat, he would be as much a part of the Old West on a ranch as he is living proof of its spirit in today's world. Join Kent McRae as he revisits his incredible life and his work that lives on to this day in his new book, Kent McRae, the man behind the most beloved television shows. Now available in hardcover on Amazon, Amazon UK, Barnes & Noble, and select retailers around the United States. And for upcoming events and book signings, go to kentmccrae.com. 